Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I'm very excited for this video because it is going to be indie makeup releases and I'm going to be talking about all the new makeup releases from the past week or so, starting off with almost all indie and then I'll throw in a few mainstream releases at the end. Although this week I really don't, I feel like I don't have that much to talk about, like not that much exciting things have happened and a lot of the sneak peeks are just very very small things so this is probably going to be a quicker video but I am pretty excited because this is the 52nd week of this series so I've been doing it for a full year and that's pretty crazy because I feel like it's been so much work every single weekend and now it's it's been a whole year it's I don't know I don't know why it just feels crazy to me but I know you guys really love these videos so thank you for all of your support and showing how much you enjoy them and coming back and spending your Sunday mornings with me each week so I did want to go ahead and do like a little quick giveaway that I thought would be fun and I was just trying to think of like the easiest thing to do and I wanted to do an indie brand giveaway so I'm going to be giving away a $20 um, gift certificate type of thing to Cindy Grace Cosmetics so basically the idea is just I'm gonna have the rules in the description box because I'm like not prepared <laughs> so I'll have them in the description box and it's just gonna be a $20 gift certificate all I'm gonna need is your email so that I can send it to you and it'll just be like through email it won't be anything like sending to your like address um so make sure when you comment down below I'm sure this will be in the rules but comment um what indie brand you want to try most and make sure to leave somewhere that I can contact you because I've done giveaways in the past where I could not contact the winner and it was so frustrating. So I figured that'd be fun and it is open to anyone. The whole, the only thing is that like I, it's going to be like a $20 gift certificate to Cindy Grace Cosmetics, but if you are international, then you'll, you know how to pay a certain amount of international shipping. So that's, you can decide whether you want to enter or not. And if you see yourself using it. So I know it's just something very small, but I just wanted to give you, give back to you guys a little bit and to celebrate like a whole year of new makeup releases. Crazy. So this series is inspired by Angelica Nikas and Samantha March. I'll have both our channels linked down below as well as all the Instagram accounts that I use for the information for this video and also the community will I buy a playlist. Now let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay so first of all Glamlight is at it again. If you are not already familiar with them they are the company that did the pizza palette and they are now coming out with a burger palette which I think personally is hysterical. Like I think it's really really smart for them because the pizza palette like grew their brand so much like it gave them so much recognition so to kind of keep going off of that and keep doing really fun pizza and like not pizza sorry fun food that people you know enjoy I don't know I think it's really fun so they're gonna have a burger palette we haven't seen any of the inside and then also on Cinco de Mayo they're gonna be releasing their Viva taco palette which is hysterical as well like who doesn't want a taco palette? It's actually really funny because they posted on this and they said it, it looks good enough to, to eat. Please don't. <laughs> like in, um, in <laughs> parentheses, and I don't know why that just killed me. They probably have to put that on their packaging because people, people are funny. Um, <laughs> but anyways, I like the ideas. I think it's super, super fun. So I'm kind of here for it. And that taco looks delicious. Like, that looks like a good taco, not, like, Taco Bell tacos. Okay, next is a sneak peek from Juvia's Place that I'm pretty excited about, and it is going to be the Warrior 3 palette, and packaging already obviously looks beautiful. It's just in black and white, and I'm sure they're going to drop this, like, out of nowhere, so I'm, like, waiting to see what it's going to be, like, so, mat so much, and I'm really curious if it's going to be, like, another neutral palette. Maybe, maybe it'll be, like, a really cool tone palette for neutrals, like maybe like taupes and maybe some purples. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I have so many different ideas. Like I want um, Juvia's Place to come out with a purple palette. I want them to come out with a purple palette. <laughs> no, really, I, d I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm very, very curious and I'm very excited to see it. Okay. Next is from, it's a new palette and it's called the Culture Shook Palette. <laughs> and it is from Sarazar Cosmetics, and I do think that this looks pretty. It is a mixture of neutrals and colors, but I kind of really like the colors that are in here. Like, there's, like, teals and blues and, like, some purples and pinks, and then, like, a row of neutrals, and I do think that this looks really pretty. And also, I love the name. Like, Culture Shook. 
Okay, so next is a little announcement from Menagerie Cosmetics. They will be coming out with single shadows very, very soon, which is super exciting. And I'm assuming that they are going to be releasing their singles from their palettes because of this picture. And they said that all the mattes are going to be $4 and the metallics are going to be $5. I think that pricing is really, really great. And I think that this is perfect if you did like their palettes, but you didn't want the whole thing or if there was just a few shades that you were super interested in. I think this is exciting. I'm excited to see if they release more colors and what they do with it. So I think that's cool. Okay, so next is a new release from Amy Hearts Beauty, and this is their new collection. I think, I can't remember what the entire collection is called. I know the palette is the Galactic Phenom palette, and these are actually my swatches. So you can see that they're coming out with three new pigments, three, or sorry, two highlighters, three lip products, and a palette. And I am going to have a video up on this tomorrow. I'm actually wearing it on my face today. I have the palette right here in case you want to see it on video. Let me see. I'll open it up. It's kind of a mess, but here's what it looks like. So I will have my thoughts up tomorrow and hopefully if everything, if I get it all filmed and edited in time because I'm, you know, still testing it out. But I do think that the collection overall looks really pretty. So this is available now for pre-order and I believe that it officially launches on the 22nd. So... It's a pretty collection, and like I said, I don't want to give anything away. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Alright, so next is from um, Peaches Makeup, and they are coming out with new pigment drops, which I think the packaging on this is kind of hysterical, like the little drops in their faces and everything, but I think this is a really smart idea. I'm curious if it's going to be like similar to like Inglot Duraline, which I just remembered that I have that. I should really try and use that with my pigments. I didn't even think about that. Um... So I, I am very interested and intrigued to see what this is going to be, and I'm loving the Beaches makeup um, pigments that I have purchased, so I have my eyes on those. Next is some sneak peeks from Bombshell Cosmetica, and they already sneak peeked that they were coming out with a malt parlor collection, but now you can see the inside, and this is really cute. It's another burger palette, and I really like the packaging. Um, they have a cookie palette, a milkshake palette. Oh my gosh, the milkshake palette is killing me. And like the shades that they showed so far, like it looks really beautiful. And I'm very, very intrigued by this. I think they posted, I think they ended up showing sneak peeks like as soon as Glamlight posted their burger palette because, you know, if you wait like a few weeks, then people will say like, oh, you stole this idea or blah, 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 did it first. But obviously you can see that they both had the palettes in production at the same time. Um, so sometimes it just happens like that, but I am very, very intrigued by this collection and I think it's very, very cute and unique. All right. So next Lime Crime, wait, Lime Crime is not considered indie anymore, are they? Do I have, oh yes, I do have other indie brands to talk about actually. Yes. Okay. So first, I don't know if they're indie or not. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a hot mess. I'm sorry. Okay. Carity Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette and it's the come as you are. So I think this is supposed to be like 90s grunge, and I do like the palette. I like the color scheme. It does look unique, but do you ever see something, and you think it's unique, and you think it's pretty, but you just have like absolutely no desire like to want it or to like think that you need it or try it? I don't know. Like I think it's pretty, but I'm just like, I'm, what's the word? Like Switzerland. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. <laughs> Why couldn't I remember that? I'm very neutral towards it. Something else that definitely did catch my eye is the new Minnie Mouse and Dose of Colors collection. I think this is so cute. The original Disney one, I was like, yeah, no, those are not my colors, but this I definitely love. I think it's really, really pretty. I love the packaging, like on the lippies and the palette. I think this is super cute. I just know I don't need it. So this is something I definitely was like, nope, you don't need it. You don't need it. Even though I really, really love the palette. I think that's so cute. I love the lipstick packaging, but I don't need it. I don't need it. But I do like the way this one looks so much more. Was the other one Mickey and this one's the mini one? I do think like having the two collections is pretty cute. And I really like having like the red tones and I like what they're doing there. All right, next, Nikita Dragon is coming out with her own um, makeup line. It's called Dragon Beauty. And I'm a little bit indifferent. Like, I mean, I kind of like her, but also like, I'm like, not like, 
I like I don't I don't I don't feel like loyalty or like oh like I want to support her and I want to buy this like makeup like I don't have those kind of feelings um but I do think that the packaging on this is really really cute like the whole egg idea I'm kind of here for it I don't know if that's just PR packaging or if that's what things are actually going to come in mm, but I do think it's like it's really cool packaging and you know it's highlighter I think those are highlighters right no transformative face powders okay I don't even know what that means so there's face powders and a lip product Okay, next is a new release from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I just have to talk about this for a moment. So this is the new Blue Blood palette, and I was a little bit like like holding my breath whenever I saw the packaging and like what it was. I was like, oh my gosh, it's going to be the perfect blue palette. I'm going to want it, but not want it so bad, like those weird mixed feelings. And now we have seen the inside, and I do think that it looks nice. It looks pretty. I'm not in love with it. I feel like maybe it's just one of those things where you need to see swatches. There are a few neutrals put in there, which, you know, is probably a smart idea so it doesn't, like, overwhelm people who don't, like, love color as much and they could still see getting some use out of it and still getting something fun. Like, it makes sense to me. Um, I think the colors look pretty. I mean, there's a lot of blues. I like it. I'm, I'm not going to buy it. Um... If you guys want me to, I can try and do, like, a dupe of this. If you want me to do single dupes, I can, like, try and do it from the picture. So I'm curious to see what you guys think of that release. And he's also releasing a lipstick bundle, which is all different blues. And I think that this is smart. And I think the campaign photo is really beautiful as well. And maybe this will make blues more trendy. I'm here for it. So... Um, nothing I'm going to purchase, but I do like the idea of the relaunch. And then there's also um, some new releases from Lime Crime. And these caught my eye because I think the packaging is really beautiful and springy. And they are new blushes. Definitely some interesting colors. Like there's a green blush here, which kind of goes with Lime Crime. And, you know, there's some beautiful colors for different skin tones. Not that I need any of it, though. <laughs> I definitely have more than enough blushes, but I do really like the packaging on those. And then, last but not least for today, I know this video is super short compared to normal, but I just, I don't have as much to talk about. I feel like this week was kind of slow. Um, also, maybe I just haven't been doing as good a job at indie hunting this week. I've been extremely busy. But last but not least is a new Natasha Denona palette, and it is called the Biba palette. Biba? 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 I'm going to go with Biba. <laughs> and... It is just a neutral palette, and I could see why some people would like this. There's, like, a true neutral row, a warm tone row, and then a cool tone row. So, it doesn't really do anything to, for me. And also, the packaging kind of makes me think of the last two palettes that were a little bit iffy. So, really curious to see what people think about the pa or the not the packaging, the formula. If it's the same as the Safari and the... Um, the, the one that was bright blue, was it like tropical? I can't remember what the name of that was, but I heard mixed reviews on both of those and they were in this packaging. So we shall see, I guess, what people have to say about it. All right. So that is everything for this week. I am again, sorry that it's so short this week. I'm sorry. I just, I don't want to sit and talk about things that I don't really care about. So I'm just going to mention the things that kind of caught my eye and I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.